Yeah, I know. I was I was really disappointed too because I didn't get a didn't get to do my YouTube for um Mass Effect. I was I was had so much fun that first that first week, so hopefully I'll be able to get some more done for it. Because that game's so fun. But yeah, I think we're doing Let's let's check. Oh, uh, we could keep doing the Brotherhood Squire. That's right. We were we were finishing those up. Uh, we were just doing a bunch of Brotherhood quests yesterday, or not yesterday on uh, last Sunday. And then, um, Oyo, thanks for the resub. I appreciate that. Nine months. Going strong. Um. Oh, we can also do a bunch of this other stuff. There's the echoes of the past. Reach the field camp. This is the big one. This is the main quest. I kind of get that done today, but we might do some some of these side things first, just to to get our feet wet, warm up a little bit. Oh, our guns are so good; we're getting everything. Everything's getting beefy. I don't think we're gonna take our uh, our power armor. We're gonna save save our cores for a bit. I don't think we'll need them. But yeah, that's the plan for today, anyways. I think we're gonna we're gonna get that main quest going, but we'll do a little bit of side stuff first. So we're supposed to go down and get another squire. Um, you do that. Oh yeah, we're supposed to get more crops too. We're supposed to start being jerks and taking over the farms. Should we do that? Oh man, I'd feel like such a jerk, but you know, I said we were full sending, so maybe we should. Maybe we should do this. Maybe we should get some crops for the troops. The heck is this one? That market? Oberlin Station. Ah, way over here. Damn, that's far. We've been there? We have been there. Uh oh. We were their friends. I forgot we were doing. We started the Minutemen at the beginning. Well, I guess we gotta go ruin these people's day. I want to keep getting levels too, cause like there's so much more I want to get. Like I want to get more weapon upgrading and stuff. Get up. We got we got business. I'm going to tell them nicely to donate crops. The Brotherhood needs food. Better to donate it willingly and keep them friendly. <sighs> we don't need any more enemies. We'll contribute. Easy. Oh, that was so easy. Well, I thought there was going to be a fight. I guess that's what happens when you... When you're such a smooth talker. He has silver tongue. That's why we leveled charisma. It's so important in Bethesda games. Oh, so important. Get Gotta get that charisma all the way up. The you just smooth talk everyone. Because this was the guy at the back. He wanted us to do that. 
Which I'm thinking he does that a bunch, and that's just like free XP and money. Um, Attention. Like you just do it this over and over. Any recovered historical, technological, or social documentation should be delivered directly to Proctor Quinlan. That is all. We'll stop the institute for Maxon and for the brother. Ah, my legs on the ground. You get those farmers to cooperate. Oh yeah. That was easy. Yes, sir. The crops will be available when harvested. I knew you'd be the right one for the job. Here, your caps, just as we agreed. If you got the time, I got a few more farms for you to hit. I realize it's not the most glamorous of missions, but hell, neither is starving. Okay, I mean, so we could do that, and that's like easy. Set me up. Be my guest. Easy money, and, um,. Uh, what was I going to say? Easy money and XP. So we could really grind a bunch of XP doing stuff like that. Grab some of those 50, because we're going to need those 50s once we get our thing upgraded. Yo, that commando helmet, though. We have the chest piece. that away. Uh, what's our helmet right now? It's just the, the sentry bot one? Commando is 16-16, plus it gives us the 10 reduction. Damn, that's really good. I don't want that. I don't need that. We got that from doing the um, the quest for the captain. It's not very good. I think our chest piece is better. Yeah, because we have the commando one. That action? Oh. Action points, baby. Action points. I don't even think we need this, but we're going to keep it. It's pretty good. Different kind of T-60 armor. How are we sitting? There's some stuff we can sell. Nice. I don't use stealth, boys. That's fine. Um... Confirm. I don't care who disappointed anyone. I'm not disappointing anyone. Alright. <laughs> that thing looks dorky as hell, but it's good. <laughs> but it's good. We got our power armor anyways. That looks cool, so. And we got this power armor. Let's put that armor away. Oops. Where's it at? Right there. Bang, bang, boom. I kind of want to keep this just because it looks cool. It might be good if we can upgrade it. Alright. Let's do... Let's help another squire quick. Get our feet on the ground. Put two in the head and they'll stay, Put two in the head and they'll stay dead. No, well, that's how zombies work. You gotta, you gotta double cap. Double tap. Just to be sure. Oh, Bibi has been super happy this morning. We went for a nice walk. And she had some good breakfast, and then she was rolling around on the ground doing her happy rolls. I can tell she's super happy in the morning if she does that stuff. She'll just like sprawl out and just roll around. Acting crazy. Getting the zoomies. I mean, she's having a good morning. And she wanted to play a bunch, but I had to start streaming. 
just grabbing toys and starting throwing them at me. Work. It's got this big carrot. It's like literally bigger than this what you can see on the screen. But she loves just whipping it around. She just goes crazy. She loves huge toys that she can just like just abolish. <laughs> Or demolish, not abolish. She loves destroying fluffy toys. Like Alright. Where are you at, little bud? Hey, sweetie. Ready to go, sir. Keep up. Better keep up, or I'll leave you for dead. I'll stay close, sir. Here's so location, brutal. <laughs> Trinity Plaza? I thought I did this already. Oh, I did Trinity Tower. Okay, well we can go here. Boom. This might be a little bit harder because we don't have our power armor, but... We should be fine. We're pretty leveled up. We're putting a bunch of points into intelligence too right now so we can get even more XP. It just like racks up the XP you get from doing everything. <clears throat> Makes it really good for when you get to the higher levels. So it doesn't take forever. Okay. Trinity Plaza has got to be this building. That's my guess. Come on, bud. Oh. Oh, it's my bud. It's strong. He's looking for that milk. Yeah, Trinity Plaza? This one. Alright. Let's clear him out. Come on, kid. Oh, okay. It's big boys. Big boys. Stay quiet, kid. Or I'll leave you for dead. Okay, it looks like we're going this way. In the bathroom? Yeah. Always gotta check the toilets. Get out of the way, kid. Someone died in here. No one? It's a, it's a child. It's not me. Stuck on that. Suck on grenades. I don't know where that dog was going. <laughs> What's that dog doing? We got a freaking machine gun already? Alright. 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 Time to get in there. Suck on that! Are you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Give me a headshot. Come on! Alright, well, he, was, he wasn't too bad. That was it? That was easy peasy. Ain't no thing. Ain't no thing. Oh, come on. Come on. Nice. 
Teddy bears. The other squires are going to be so jealous when I get back. That was exciting, sir. Might as well grab some stuff for money. I also need a bunch of uh, crafting stuff, so we're just going to be picking up a lot of stuff. Good job. You handled yourself well. You honor the Brotherhood. Good job, kid. Let's head back. Sir! I'm looting first. Yeah, <laughs> I'm looting. You don't get to head back until I get the loot. I wish they'd let me have a gun. Hawker Tegan just laughed at me. I wish they'd let me have a gun. You're a kid. I mean, I guess you gotta start yelling in this world. You, you gotta learn quick. That's it. Oh, another combat rifle. Overdue book. Uh oh. Somebody is paying money on that. Fifty cal? God dang. Okay, Someday, bud. I want to be the best Perfect. Oh! Five percent damage to the super mutants. Alright. Damn. Combat armor le was that left leg? Right leg. Damn. I need to get rid of this damn leather. What's my right leg? Unyielding. Yeah, see, this is pretty good. Yeah, I need to get rid of this. The fire is good. But, like... It's pretty weak. The old leather gear, man. Old leather. Alright. What's down here? It's going to be hard to go back to patrolling the Pridway. I mean, you gotta, you gotta start small, kid. You gotta start small. Oh, baby. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. I can't believe I was lucky enough to get this assignment. Anything else good in here? A comfy pillow? Nice. Okay. I think we got all of it. I don't see why everyone isn't out to eradicate these abominations. These kids are on another level. Damn. They are on another level. <laughs> Gotta grab all this stuff. It's good stuff. Bobby pin box. After this, I can't wait till we start live weapons training. Chill, kid. I don't think you're getting a gun yet. Alright. God damn. I mean, I guess it was worth it, because we got that, uh, super mute thing. That's handy. Those guys are beefy, so all the damage you get against them is nice. They are beefy. Yeah. Yeah, I think we might do the main quest now. I want to progress it a little bit. Dang. Come on, load screen. Holy moly. The longest one yet.
Wow. There we go. There we go. Those mannequins creep me out. Back to the pretty one. Find your own way back, kid. It's your it's part of your mission. Make it back on your own. Take it the training mission went well. Uh, yep. Roger that. Well done. Remember, I don't choose instructors easily. If you're still interested in helping mold the Brotherhood's future, report to me directly. I'm happy to help out. Excellent. One of the squad. Oh, that's so much XP. Escort her there and show her how the Brotherhood deals with abominations. That's so much XP. Man, maybe I want to keep doing this. Just to level up some. Holy crap. That was so much. Plus we can get more if we keep dumping into this. Oh man. But we want to get... Um... Oh, we gotta get to 39 before Gunnut rank 4? Damn. Um... Armor is really good too, which sucks because I want to get that up because but we have to put strength in. Um, that's for level 31. That'll be really good. Um, damn, what do I want to put in? This is really good, too. We still haven't even gotten hacker stuff. I feel like a ding-dong because I haven't been able to hack anything. Ah! There's so much that I need. So much that I need. <clears throat> and luck is really good too man I think we're just gonna go intelligence just get, keep getting X, XP exponentially it'll be really good sorry about my cough and my stuffiness if it's if it's annoying it's uh it's annoying me so That's all that's left over now. It's just like I have a little bit of stuffy nose, kind of scratchy throat. That's it. And it's just gonna hang around probably for another week. Because that's how it always happens when I get sick. Attention all I usually only get sick like this once. Is to serve as a, mole rat are a year. They are crucial military yeah. resources. This year I've gotten sick twice pretty bad. As such, they are not to be fed by any personnel save Scribe Naraya and her team. Technical any violation of this and policy will result in severe discipline. Excellent work. Here are the caps. That Ooh, I thanks for the money. Check every bill. All right. Our Drop our crap off quick. <laughs> Transfer. Take my junk. And we probably have stuff we can sell. Because I picked up. Excuse me, Proctor Teagan. You looking to pick a fight? Well, I'll should we scrap? I lied. Scrap this. Eh, steal. Steel's important. There's stuff we can scrap in here, though. Screws. See, that's good stuff. Automatic combat shotgun.
Nice. Okay. Can we up? No, see, we... I thought we had gun at three. Like a suicide mission to me. I guess not. Maybe we do. Yeah, we do. I just don't have the adhesive. I thought I got a bunch of adhesive. Yeah, I did. It's all it was all in my armor one. No wonder. No wonder. Okay, well we don't even need I'm not putting a big scope on this because this is just my regular weapon. But man. Quick eject mag is gonna be nice. Yeah, that's going to be nice. And... This drops my range by a little bit, but it gives me better recoil. So I think that's pretty good. Let's see. Exceptional recoil, so we don't even need this because we're not using a scope Boom now this thing is beefy Calibrated does this dump my uh Better critical shot damage and accuracy, so this is really good too. And then it'll be that, and then if we can get up to the 308 receiver, that's pretty much the best one we can do. So that's pretty good. And let's do this so we have better accuracy. I kind of like the Enclave just because the colors look nice, but I'm not Enclave. And then, can we upgrade this bad boy? I take every barrel, beauty, and sin and shoot them into space. Sometimes what they say is so funny. <laughs> Powerful receiver. That's what we wanted. And then... Now this thing's pumping damage. Long, long barrel. Nice. Full stock. This gives better recoil. Oh, did I put the marksman stock on? Oh well, whatever. I guess that doesn't change too much, huh? Drum magazine, exceptional animal, inferior reload, so that's not very good. We want the quick eject. Quick eject drum. And then... Standard sights. Yeah. Sweet. Compensator increased. Reduced range. Okay. That's fine. Still 191. Hell yeah. The Enclave on this one is a little much. Alright. Now we got a sweet... The Assault Rifle is way faster. Different ammo though. So we're going to have to stock up. 
I think that uses um that uses five five six. But both of our guns are really good now. Proctor Teagan, can I help you with anything? Sweet. Sweet. Let me see what you have. Sure, I've got something that'll put a smile on your face. We are looking dorky. Five five six. What else does he have? Does he have anything cool? Nope. Nothing crazy. Liberating the Commonwealth is a still want that. But we'll get the job done. I still want that. <clears throat> okay, let's go do our main quest. Boom. Leading by example, we did that already. Actually, damn, there was so much XP. No, let's go let's go talk to Proctor Ingram. I wanna at least like get this started. Cause it's, 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 I mean, it's a long quest. I, if, if I remember right, I mean, it's the rest of like the main story, but all right, down to the airport. Oh, hi, Vivi. We got, I got two more weeks of, uh, of my job. Looking pretty excited. Uh, looking forward to it. Um, and then I've got a little bit of break. And then we're going to be moving. I'm going to try and stream some more. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do. I liked, um, obviously, like, I really enjoy playing RPGs and stuff, but I also really liked that, uh, the Pokemon thing, the, uh, maintenance fixes keeps getting longer and longer. Elder Maxon said you'd help me build the signal interceptor. So, looks like you're calling the shots around here now, huh? All right, I'll bite. What does your new miracle device do? The, uh, the Ironmon, uh, like, challenge or whatever, the Nuzlocks. Those were really fun and, uh, pretty challenging. So I might mix those in every once in a while, but I might, I might do, like, my main game that I'm playing in the morning and then nighttime streams will be, like, chill. I'll play, like, either a different RPG or throw in some Pokemon ones or whatever. I don't know. I haven't fully decided. Um, because I I I just I want to stream more. I'm gonna have more time to do it. So, um, you're the expert. <laughs> this is true. This is why we're talking to her. Um, teleportation. The institute uses teleportation to get in and out. This machine can hijack their signal and send me instead. Teleportation. Molecular transmission via encrypted oh, no. RF waves. Vivi found a dirty sock. Okay, even I have to admit. He dug That's one out genius. of the laundry. This just to play with it. Been picking up anomalous energy readings all across the Commonwealth. Not to mention how they get their tin soldiers to come out oh, of the Oh, Vivi, walls. you have ninety this toys. This beauty allows you to literally hijack a return signal. Instead of grabbing the intended target, it grabs you instead. Impressive. It is impressive. Um, can you build it? That all sounds impressive, but can you build it? If I can keep that flying pile of junk in the air, I can work miracles. 
It's there. difficult to make out all the details here, but I'm thinking you can get started by building a stabilized reflector platform. It's gonna take a cargo hold full of high-grade metal, but I'm sure that we have plenty of it right here at the airport. Okay. Can you give me a list of what I'll need to build this platform? Of course. Here's a list of everything you need to find. You're also going to need a massive power source to get the signal interceptor running. The last time I did this for the railroad, it was really annoying getting it set up. And it's it's probably just because I didn't understand the power grid stuff. But we'll figure it out. The hell? Don't let Ingram catch you standing around. In here? Aha! Uh -huh. What do you mean inaccessible? We're supposed to go in there. Just fixed a few power armor mods and gave them to Tegan. You might want to check them out. Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. Oh, this frame is driving me crazy. I've got like three itches I can't even scratch. Treat your power armor well, and it can get you through anything. Now I'm confused. Why won't it let me in? If I'm supposed to go in there. Let's see. Build the reflector platform. Looks dead. Put one more in its head for good measure. There's so much ammo and stuff here. Why would it let me in? Oh, well, that's not it. <laughs> that's not it. Is it around? Around the back? Is that all it is? Okay. Okay. It's just the workshop outside. Um. Oh, God. So this is the special one. Devilized reflector platform. Okay. Talk to Proctor Ingram. Alright. You gonna tell me what else I need. It's a good thing I've been scrapping everything. Any luck building the platform yet? Uh yeah. Yes. I'm ready to build the rest of it. Good. Let's move on then. Here's a list of everything we'll need. Now, I know some of that might as well be in Greek, so I'll be around if you have any questions. Oh my god. Okay. I'm on it. I'm on it, Proc. I hope so. Oh, one last thing before I forget. It's important that all the components are wired together so all the pieces are on a single grid. Otherwise, this isn't going to work. If you need any help, I'll be over at the build site. That's what messed me up last time. Calculations. Having them all wired I together. Wish you good luck, Knight. But I think we're both going to need it. Okay. Give me one second. I gotta let my partner know that Vivi needs to go out. Okay.
All right, what else have we got to build? We need... I have all those things, but... Biometric scanner, military grade. Ah. I need that. I need a military grade circuit. And I need a biometric scanner. Oh, what? Okay. Yeah, you do you do those things, Proctor. Elder, what are you doing? And then we need military grade circuitry now, who knows where we're gonna find that stuff maybe it's in here it's in the stores I still can't believe it Maybe it's up here. Another storage place for stuff. Let's look around. Because we need to find. Search hospitals for a biometric scanner. Search military sites for a circuit board. Oh. Well, maybe we already have those in our storage. You know what I mean? I might have those things. So let's go back to the Pridwin and look in our our crafting thing. Because that's where it would be. I'm pretty sure I picked up military grade stuff and biometric scanners, so. Hopefully I have them. I've been picking up everything. And I've gone through hospitals and I've gone through freaking military things, so. thing about storing everything up here is having to uh, go in and out of the pretty one over and over and over. Attention. Any it's nice having everything in one spot. Nope. Okay. Transfer. We need 
military grade stuff down to the M's. Military grade circuit board. Take. And then biometric scanner. Nice. Look at that. Already had him. Easy peasy. Makes this way easier. Is that having to go search for, for crap for two hours? That's why. That's why we explore. We collect. Then we hoard. That's why it's good to be a hoarder. It's making me really want to do another Skyrim playthrough. If I get invested in that, that's going to be a, a lot of time. But like I said, if I'm going to stream more, you know, I'll have time to play, play more games. With only getting to stream two days a week, it's kind of like... I get to play this game. That's it. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not going to finish anything. I've been playing freaking Elden Ring. Oh, man. That game. So good, but so frustrating. So good, but so frustrating. Okay. What can we make? We gotta build this guy. I think this has to go... Control console. I need to build this guy. And I thought it had to go over this. Well, maybe I need to move this? Oh man, where am I going to put this so I can put the other thing over the top? Oh, this was supposed to go over the top. Does snap this in place over the reflector platform. this stuff now so it's closer this over here power 
produces 100. Oh my god. Why is it so big? Now run a wire. Space. We're close. All we need is enough power to fire up the signal intercept. For most powered objects, you can run a wire directly to them. Everything have enough power? There we go. I don't know. I did it. It looks like jank, but we got it running. Remarkable work, Knight. The signal interceptor appears to be complete. It looks like Jake, but we got it running. You sure Ingram knows what she's doing? Proctor Ingram's managed to keep a 40,000 ton airship aloft for the past five years. I'd say that earns her the benefit of the doubt. That being said, this is the first time we've attempted to directly adapt Institute technology. When we throw that switch, we don't know exactly what's going to happen. Yeah, we don't. God willing, you'll end up inside the Institute. And the mission can continue. And if not, <laughs> I might be dead. What are the details of my mission? I'm glad you asked. Now, I want you to listen very carefully. Once you've entered the Institute, we expect to lose contact. So it's imperative you remember everything I'm about to tell you. About 10 years ago, the Brotherhood began recruiting civilian scientists from the Capital Wasteland to assist with various projects. During this process, we were able to obtain the services of Dr. Madison Lee, a noted mind in the field of nuclear engineering. Okay. That's fortunate. That's fortunate. Yes, it was. Securing useful resources during wartime is critical. That said, Dr. Lee's contributions to our cause were instrumental in maintaining order in the Capital Wasteland. After some time, she developed differences with the Brotherhood and exiled herself to the Commonwealth. We're fairly certain that her intent was to make contact with the Institute. Um... Differences? What sort of differences? Although she was working with the Brotherhood of Steel, she never formally joined as a scribe. After the Capital Wasteland was secured, 
She objected to the Brotherhood's continued military presence there. I think she assumed we would just walk away from it all. She was wrong. Your mission is simple. Once you're inside the Institute, we want you to track down Dr. Lee's whereabouts. If you find out that she's still alive, make contact with her and convince her to return to the Brotherhood of Steel. There's a special project we're working on. Okay. And it needs her attention. All right, all right. What's this project that needs her attention? Dr. Lee previously worked on a potent weapon nice. for the Brotherhood of Steel. We'd like her to continue where she left off. That's all I can tell you. Listen to me, Knight. I'm well aware that you're risking your life going into the Institute. Hey, you should give me some more inf keep your information. Mind and don't let anything they say sway you from your duty. Good luck. Okay. We gotta find Dr. Lee. We have a we have a couple things we gotta do when we get inside. We have to we have to find Dr. Lee now. We have to Where is his thing? Um What? Is it a is it a miscellaneous? Give shoot no. Check the detective cases. No, no, no. I swear. I have to find the thing for what's his name? It's not a quest. Okay, well, we have to find, um, Virgil's thing to change him back into a, I've checked and rechecked everything. I think the signal into a normal person. Ready to go. Are you? Um, not ready. Not ready yet. I gotta Fine. grab stuff. Kill me to crunch the numbers a few more times anyway. You have your assignments, Move out. Well, shut your mouth. Proctor Ingram. All right, whatever. We're going. We're going. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right. Head up onto the platform, and we'll see if I can find a signal. We're infiltrating. We're infiltrating. Pull yourself together and get up onto that platform. I am. Let's see. Relays dialed in. Beam emitters warmed up. Everything looks green. Let me start scanning for the signal. Cross your fingers. Refrain from I'm opening inputting fire the code now. The wow, it there's a heck of a lot of interference mission. and ghosting. It's gonna take a minute or two to lock in. By the way, this little trip you're taking is a heck of an opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. I put a clever little program on this holotape that'll scan their network and download anything it finds. If you place it in any terminal down there, it'll do the rest. Okay. Bring it back to me and I'll see if I can make sense of whatever it found. Well, well. Looks we got a bunch like of quests to do. We have a winner. RF wave capture complete. Ramping the emitter. 60%, 80%. Emitter spiking but steady. All that's left is to throw the transmit switch. Transmitting in three, two, one. Stay safe, soldier. <laughs> okay. Adios. Blam. Well, we made it. We're inside. Everything is so shiny and new. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. 
Okay. Please, step into the elevator. Well, god damn, okay. Use computer terminal. Okay, so there's nothing there. I was wondering if I could use the... the thing on that, but I guess not. Okay. Finding lots of things that are nothing. This is feeling a little mass effecty. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. What the hell? This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades Dang. of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. Slightly. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Yeah. That's right. I came here for my kid. I came here to do two things. Ear examiner, spanner, applicator, tweezers. Is that my kid? Busted. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. <sighs> Sean? Oh my god. It's really you. Who are you? I'm your dad. Father, what's going it's on? me. What's happening? I'm... I'm your dad. Those bastards. bastards. They took you from me. What's going on? Father? Father! Shh, shh, shh. It'll be okay, Sean. I'm here I now. I don't know you. Go away. Father. Father, help me. There's someone here. Help me. Sean, please... Calm down. I'll get you out of there. Yeah, Father? this has got to be so emotional. Father, help me. He's trying to take me. Father? Father, help me. Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. Who's a robot? Contract, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. This is... insane. All of it! The degree of trauma you're experiencing right now is understandable. Please, just try to relax. I know this is all difficult to take in. 
Answers. I want answers, asshole. Now. Under the circumstances, I will forgive your vulgarity, but I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been re It's good to finally meet you after all this time. It keeps getting like the very end. It's me. I am Sean. I am your son. What? How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the sun you'd lost. What the you hell? Learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am, raised by the Institute, and now it's leader. You were stolen? They stole you. Kidnapped you. Wasn't right. Right, wrong, irrelevant. It was necessary. The Institute believed humanity's future depended on it. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being, walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Jeez. Human synth? Human synths? Really? Human-like synths. A great distinction. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111, an infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. What? This is kind of mind blowing. It's kind of that's kind of like a big, uh, big brain. <laughs> here the whole time. <laughs> You've been down here the whole time. I have. Yes, I know you must have questions. Please, anything I can do to help you understand. Kellogg? Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You used him? You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. 
Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond Jesus. his normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. Yeah. And I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? Your mother? Your mother? She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. I don't have any direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with a loss. Has it always been easy? Of course not. But I've done my best to move on and live my life. For many years, I never Jeez. questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation. And that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say? It seems so Please. wild to like just accept ah, I got kidnapped when I was a baby and now I'm part of this thing and now I'm just going along with it. And didn't fight back, didn't didn't want to learn anything about my past, nothing. Just accept it. I mean, I guess you're safe. But that seems wild. Heard enough. I think I've heard enough for now. Very well. The Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now... After all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? You want me to stay here? In the Institute? Yes. That is what I propose. Is it so hard to imagine? The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. I don't know. I'm having a good time blasting super mutants and uh, raiders and find, find the cool stuff. I'm enjoying that, so. <laughs> How can you say that? How can you be so dismissive of all those people? Everything they've done. Because it is the simple truth. And I believe you know it, too. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? <sighs> I just don't know. Just give it time. Give the Institute a chance. The Institute is now your home, as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. Okay, well, Dr. Lee is who we need to talk to, so. Let's do a little look around quick. So, not a lot. Not a lot going on. That person. <laughs> It's an honor to have you here, sir. 
Can they just teleport? Is that what that was? Where'd you come from? Getting a bunch of stim packs. Everything is so clean and pristine and weird. Sean's terminal password. Oh, wait. Whoa. Let me in. Kellogg Conrad. Personal notes. Kellogg's occasional presence continues to unnerve the others. At first I thought they were merely intimidated by his confidence and arrogance. Or perhaps even afraid of his general being. Kellogg is after all a killer. But as I've continued to witness their reactions, gauge their sidelong glances, I've detected something else. Something I probably should have anticipated. Jealousy. Kellogg is living a memorial to a forgotten program. He's an augmented human being, a cyborg really, and the benefits he has received cannot be denied. But really the scientists here could not care less about enhanced reflexes or greater combat efficiency. AO can only confirm sightings outside Vault 111, and again in Diamond City sometime later. What that means, I'm not sure. Will we actually meet? Was this all for nothing? No, not nothing. I will have learned valuable things about myself. My past either way. I cannot afford to let emotion get in the way. I must simply observe and record. I'm told Kellogg has gone offline. Strangely, I find myself thinking of Dr. Walker. He had such high hopes for Kellogg, such faith in the implants, and what they could mean. Oh, weird. Okay. Go this way? Maybe? Well, that's just, that's just me. That's just Sean. Primary drive servo. That's the third primary drive breakdown this month. As far as I'm concerned, the phase out on these older models can't come soon enough. Oh, I don't know. Most of them have lasted long past this time. What do you mean by suspicious? Bioscience. Yeah, we gotta go into every every part to talk all, to all the doctors or whatever. No? What's back here? Am I finding something I'm not supposed to find? disappointing where the hell am I storage freaking walking back to the janitor's closet got it where the hell did I go uh it, what what Where the hell am I? Uh, 
Broken synth. This is not <laughs> this is not where I'm supposed to be. Sweet. This is not where I'm supposed to be. That's okay though. We like to wander. Quick save, just to be sure. That's a turret. Was that an Assaultron? If that was an Assaultron, I, um... Kinda don't wanna... Don't wanna come back here. Freaking hate Assaultrons. Nice. Class combat. Resetting threat level. Yeah. Sensor alert. Anomaly detected. Yep. Okay, at least we can kill him pretty decently. Jesus, those things scare the crap out of me, though. We're in the sketchy part of the institute. What the frick? Wandering places we're not supposed to be. Black Institute lab go. Oh, coarser uniforms. Huh. I wonder if this is where the coursers. That would, I guess that would make sense. They put them in like a not. What? Why are there kitties in here? What the frick? That was like the most depressing thing I've ever, what? I'm gonna frick these robots up. What do those poor kitties do? Got it. Whoa, super mutant. What is he doing in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop shooting me. If this is where we find the what's his name's thing. Ask no. Okay, yeah, we're gonna look around for um Maybe we'll find his 
serum or whatever. Okay. Not here. Spin one. Could be clan. Yep. Nice. Turret control. Can we turn those bad boys off? Open that door. Nice. What? What? Is this somewhere they were making super mutants? Oh my god. They were- this is where the- the, the whole thing went wrong? This is vert. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Personal record. Dr. Brian Virgil. This will likely be my last recording. My requests to shut down the FEV program have repeatedly been denied. We've learned nothing useful in the last 10 years. Why does Father insist on continuing it? If he won't see reason, then I have to take matters into my own hands. What we're doing... It's not right. It needs to stop. If anyone should find this after... After I'm gone. Know that I never wanted to hurt anyone. Anyone! Do you understand me? I'm gonna make sure the whole program is shut down. If not for good, then... At least for years to come. Nice. After that... I know what I'm about to do will be seen as a betrayal. Treason, he'll probably call it. So... I'm leaving. I have a plan. And if it works, I'll be somewhere safe. Somewhere not even the Coursers can find me. Everything that we've done. The lives we've taken. If there is a God, may he have mercy on us all. Damn, dude. Okay, well we did find what we needed to for Virgil. But that was messed up. This is where they were making... Oh, man. Oh, wait. Can I load? Um... What's the thing I have to do for that other quest? Outside the wire. Insert network scanner holotape. Network scanner. Okay. Initiate network scan. Oh, sweet. Okay. So we got that information. Two birds with one stone. Okay. Oh, look at those monkeys. Dr. Holdren's scent gorilla project is showing promising results. You're here. Glad you made it. That is so messed up. We're all looking forward Those are synthetics? Jesus. Where's the actual doctor? Over here. Viewing father's plans to expand our operations at Warwick. Lane so Holdren. Get that going. So I hey, Doc. wonder how the Warwick Welcome. family is doing. So good to have you here. Young Wally Dr. Clayton Holdren, ten years old by now. head of the bioscience it's remarkable. That I can't child wait can for you to see the work so we're doing. There, don't you think? It's truly amazing. Shut up. <laughs> I'm trying to talk. Other guys still over here just y yammering. Um. 
I'll reserve judgment until I know more about it. In that case, let me give you a brief overview of what we do here. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. Why? Why gorillas? Why not like... I don't know. Something that can't tear you in two if it gets mad. Like a raccoon. I don't know. The gorillas are synths too? They are indeed. Judging by your reaction, we've done a good job making them seem lifelike. The initiative is still in its early stages, but the prospects Pretty are wild. very exciting. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? Um, I'm not sure I'm not yet. Sure. Right now, I'm just trying to keep an open mind. It's a big decision, I know. But it's also a rare and important opportunity. No need to rush to judgment. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. I'm good for now. Thanks. Take care, then. Okay, that's Clayton. We've got an ad coming up here in a minute. I'm going to use the restroom really quick and grab some more water. Um, and then we'll be back and we'll talk to the rest of the doctors. So, I'll be right back. Alrighty. This place is wild. Just crazy looking. Synth retention. Advanced systems. This is where Dr. Lee is. Evie's got a toy. She's being crazy. Thomas, what's going on? At this point, she's just doing it for fun. Thanks for the resub. It is blasting for no reason. You just testing guns out? Well, that was productive. I want these grenades. It's really exciting having you here. I can't wait to see what you can do. Hey, where's Dr. Lee? Safety first. Remember that. That's not Dr. Lee. Dr. Lee. Oh, it's you. This is Dr. Lee. You're not authorized to be here. The nuke option? Uh I don't know. We're we're doing brotherhood. That's what I've been doing. So uh Right now, I, I just got into the Institute, so I'm like talking to everyone. I wanted to see what the Brotherhood story was because they're crazies. And so far, it's been crazies, which is what I expected. Uh, where am I? Authorized to be where? What is this place? You're standing in the Advanced Systems Division, and you... You are not a part of my staff. If you want a tour of the place, why don't you ask Father, seeing that he's apparently given you the keys to the castle. Now, can I get back to work? Mm. All right, calm down, lady. Easy. I just want to talk. About what? You're obviously here for a reason, and you've already spoiled my experiment, so you might as well spit it out. Uh, I was sent to find you. Let's just say that you've regained the attention of a certain group. 
that I represent. Stop beating around the bush. It's obvious that you're from the Brotherhood of Steel. How do you know? I knew it was just a matter of time before your people would track me down. I've been looking over my shoulder for almost a decade, waiting for them to send someone like you to kill me. Like talking to Sheldon from Big Brother. <laughs> Big Bay. <laughs> yeah, kinda. Um dead why why would we want you dead i did some pretty sensitive work for the brotherhood of steel even though lions let me go there were a few others in the ranks that thought i knew too much that's why i came to the institute it was the only place that i thought i'd be out of the brotherhood's reach and still be able to do my research hmm since father trusts you i'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt i might not agree with everything he says but i know he'd never allow harm to come my way Say what you came here to say. Right, but neither, leave me alone. neither with the Brotherhood. Are you happy here? Are you happy here? You'd think being surrounded by cutting edge laboratory equipment and some of the greatest minds. We're gonna convince her. Would be Go enough. back to the Brotherhood. The only problem is the lack of transparency. I don't think we get the full story on everything that occurs down here. What does that have to do with why we're talking? Return to the Brotherhood. You should return to the Brotherhood. Even if I wanted to return to them, why would they want me back? Because they want... What? You did a ton of work for them. Did you abandon any projects you wanted to complete? You should know better than to ask me that. If they didn't tell you what I was working on, they didn't want you to know. I'm certainly not going to put my neck on the line and spread their dirty little secrets. I mean, they no, were listen. working on something big why and cool. Why would I possibly want to come crawling back to the Brotherhood? What reason would I have to throw away everything I've accomplished here? Uh, trust me. Let's use that silver tongue. Father trusts me, and so should you. He trusts you because you're family. I'm not. I can't just take your word for it. I need more than that. Uh, we don't lie. This is just me saying words. I'm not even giving it. <laughs> I'm not even giving like a, a reason. <laughs> The Brotherhood has always been straight with you. I am getting a bit tired of all the secrets around here. Sometimes I feel like Father isn't being straight with me. Like there are things I'm not supposed to know about. I don't like that. But still, how can I turn my back on all of this? Free the Commonwealth. Free them! Join the Brotherhood. Your work could be instrumental in freeing the Commonwealth. <sighs> you really know how to push my buttons, don't you? You know, I never understood why the Institute was so damn selfish. All those innocent people up there, dying. And here I am, surrounded by technology that could make their lives better. That's Every right. Down here That's right, Dr. Lee. From everything and everyone. It's not right. It's not right. I'll make my way back to the Brotherhood. But I'm going to have to do it on my own. I can't take any chances being seen with you. Tell whoever sent you that they've just regained the services yeah. of Dr. Madison Lee. Now, for the sake of keeping up appearances, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. Oh. You're to be given full access with the ability oh, that way to I can go in and out of the institute at will. I can quick quick travel here now. Nice. Uh what's it do? A coarser chip? What's it do? The same thing it does for our coursers. Creates a link to the relay that allows them, and now you, to get in and out at will. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Speaking of, I trust our discussion will remain between the two of us. Now, I need to get back to work, and I'm sure you have other things to do. Nice. Successful conversation. Vivi is going to town on a toy. She ripped one open. She's getting the floof out. Classic floof destroyer. Alright. Who else we gotta talk to? Um through attention do we already do this 
Let's see, we did bioscience. Robotics? I think we gotta do this one too. You know the protocol, sir. Authorized personnel only. So Dr. Ayo thinks he can hide in his office, does he? Well, you can tell him that I intend to speak to Father about these unannounced security sweeps of yours. Ransacking my quarters in the middle of the night is totally unacceptable. I'll pass along your message, Doctor. See that you do. Welcome to the Institute, sir. That's pretty messed up. The lights go down and the stars come out. Man just forgets about all his troubles. Nothing to report, sir. Let me in. Let me in. Seriously thinking of heading over to robotics to knock so some heads there the day the bombs fell. That must have been terrifying. A little bit. Maybe I should take some courses Always with me. Always be vigilant. We have many enemies. Please don't. There's enough friction as it is between us and pretty much all the other departments. Hi, Doc. You going soft on me, Alana? So, here you are. Justin Ayo, acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be upfront with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Why? Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? You don't trust me? Why? Don't you trust me? I'll be honest. You're an outsider. The first outsider to be allowed access to the Institute in quite a long time, in fact. There's little precedent for this situation, so... Because I stink. It's only natural to take extra precautions, hmm? Because I'm it's smelly. It's nothing personal, I assure you. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the Synth Retention Bureau. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. Secret police? Um... Synth escapes? Why would synths want to escape? Synths do not want. They might look like human beings, but they're machines. As to why they're escaping? That matter is currently under investigation. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Maybe it's because... hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. Maybe it's because they, they don't like you. Trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our coursers are relentless. They're sentient. But I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one already. In fact, AI. I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. Uh, it, it was useless. That's damn right. I destroyed that thing. I break it to you, but your courser wasn't all that tough. Hmm. Then it's likely the unit was defective. It's Whatever. Rare, but faults could occur from time to time. Well, like I Suppose kicked its I ass. To ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough problems. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. Um. I'm good for now. Good Thanks. for now. Very well. Cool. We talk to him. Last one. Confirmed. Okay. We are honored to Robotics. That's the last one. Remember to keep unnecessary Whoa. power consumption to a minimum. Look at these. Don't recharge unless your naked sense levels are below two percent. Also, if you haven't packed That's creepy. It's just like exo like skeleton suits. Good to see you. Oh, what is going on here? Oh, they're putting them together. What? What? Huh? That's a bone. Those are bones. As a per as a person. Oh, it's so creepy. Oh, 
Oh, that's so creepy. Women of science. And well to remember that. That's wild. Excuse me, doctor. Ah, it's you. You're finally with us. I'd just like to apologize for any trouble our sins may have caused for you on your way here. They, of course, couldn't be told of your identity. And they have very specific protocols for protecting themselves and institute interests. Most of which I designed myself. Not to make problems for you, though. I, uh... Will you be staying with us, then? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure yet. I'm thinking it over. Well, I hope you do decide to stay. It would mean a great deal to Sean. If you require anything, especially as it pertains to synths, please let me know. The synths are wild. That was creepy watching that that happen, and then just the synth walking out. You're just getting boiled. And then. Hello. I'm a person. Huh. Creepy. Super creepy. Yeah, they just come out jacked. <laughs> just like a perfect human. Oh, it's it's messed up. I don't, the Institute is weird. Okay. Do we go back to... We met everyone, though. I did this. Can I go out now? Now that I've been in? I can I can teleport wherever. So this and this we have to to turn in. Report to Elder Maxon. Give the hall tape to Ingram. And then we also have the Bring the serum to Virgil. Those are three things that I want to do. Let's go talk to Virgil first. Virgil's my guy. We gotta save him. Wait, I can't teleport out? What? Why can't I teleport out? I thought she gave me the thing. Reporting status. All functions normal. Everyone's excited about the new synth project. Okay, let's go talk to Sean quick, because we talked to everyone. Good evening. No, wrong way. Oh, this is the last person. I hope I'll prove a useful test subject for you, Doctor. Mm -hmm. They weren't kidding. You really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? Uh, to find my son. I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Not really. 
I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer kind any of, questions you might have. Kind after. of crazy. As you might guess, we keep the institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. I mean, he's doing good things, but in the wrong way. I guess is the is the way to and work in a place like to this. think about it. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water, and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So. Now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? Um... With what? On board with what? The Institute, of course. Sean implied you operated on a level, if not equal, and at least similar to the rest of us. Curious. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the Facilities Division, I'm happy to discuss it. Um, good for now. I'm good for now. Thanks. Goodbye. Okay, now we're now we're good. We talked to everyone. Now we can go talk to our guy. Dang! All that XP. All that XP. Virgil! I have your thing! Well, I'm glad to see the relay didn't completely vaporize you. It worked! The interceptor worked. It was rough, but it worked. Amazing! And what about the serum? Did you find the serum? What do you mean, can't find it? Give him the serum. Got it right here. That's it. That's really it. Right. This is my guy. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go, Virgil. The virus has matured nicely. Density gradient is high. Recombinant counter intron sequences look stable. Transcriptive exon strands have formed. That's good? That's good. It is. But there's only one way to know if it works. Let's go, Virgil. I want to I want to save you, man. You've been a you've been a real trooper this entire time. All right. I'm holding up my end of the bargain. Well, that was intense. No. We wait. How long? How long will it take? I don't know. Nothing like this has ever been tried before. I'm going to rest for a while. I'm back in a few days. I'm a week and... Well, I guess we'll see. In any event, you kept your end of our bargain. Thank you. Nice. That's my guy. All right, let's head back to the Pridwin. Oh wait, we have to leave the cave. Protect and serve. Hell yeah. Okay. Fast travel out of this radiation zone. There's my guy. Boom, Pridlin. Freaking awesome. That's probably going to do it for me for today. We're going to cut a little bit short. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. Oops. Um... Same time, 8 a.m. until 11 uh, Central, Central Daylight Time. Uh, we'll keep going with the Fallout. I'm freaking enjoying it. We'll maybe do some more Brotherhood quests or keep going with the main story. I don't know. We'll see. 
but that's the plan. I'm going to work on some YouTube stuff. Um, I got to get um, another episode of the uh, Mass Effect going. So I'm going to go work on that. I hope you had a good day. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you tomorrow morning.